First, let me hop out the motherfucking Porsche. I don't want to if that ass don't sit like a horse. I be balling on this nigga. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is Glam by Ty or Taisha. Um, and today I'm bringing you my tattoos and piercings video. If it looks like I don't have a shirt on, I do, y'all. Okay, I have a shirt on. Alright, that's one. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's get right so, into it. Total I have one, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> six, seven, eight. I have a total of eight tattoos. If I counted them all right, I think I have a total of eight tattoos. Um, so I guess I'll start with my tattoos first because piercings are your um noticeable. But I guess I can start with this little no, actually scratch that i'm gonna start with my first tattoo and i'm gonna tell you guys how i even got into getting tattoos and shit so this is my first tattoo it's actually a matching tattoo with my dd she has the exact same one and we actually tried to get color in it but it wasn't working out so yeah i'll zoom you guys in so you guys can see it but that's what it looks like so yeah that was like my first tattoo ever and i guess i just wasn't used to the feeling I didn't know what to expect but y'all that shit hurt so we were supposed to get color into that tattoo but I never got color in it because I was bitching um and it hurt too bad he started shading it towards the bottom but I was like nah fuck it I was like no I can't it hurts too bad so he had to stop and we didn't get any color in it but at least I got the tattoo shit I didn't bitch out about that my next tattoo is this one that I have on my wrist. It's so hard to show people. The only way I can show you guys if, is if I actually am like putting my hand out. Um, but yeah, this is what it kind of looks like. This rose right here. Um, and I got this, I think I still had, no, I got this right after I graduated high school. Um, so yeah, and it's a rose. It just has some like shading in it. I seen it and I was like, oh, that is so cute. But I don't know why I got it there. <laughs> like, I'll show you guys what it looks like. This rose right here. I don't know why I got it, y'all. I just got it because. Next tattoo after that one I got was the skull that's right above it. Let me show you guys. This skull right here that's like right above it is the next one I got and I honestly just got a skull because I was like oh I had seen a like skull and I was like oh that is so nice I would love to get that tattooed and incorporate it with my sleeve so yeah my goal is to eventually have my whole arm um but we'll see because like I'm cheap <laughs> but yeah so I got I got the skull I went on ahead and I got this anchor um I love anchors oh my god for me anchor is like whole shit down and I'm the oldest of five kids so for me I was holding shit down all the time so I got an anchor um and it just has some flowers in it with some coloring you guys are looking at it upside down because it's hard as hell to like well there it is this is what it looks like the right it's the right way <laughs> but yeah on a pain level for all these to be honest like these on my arms were like nothing compared to my piercings that I have like I, I would do these like three four times a day before I do any more piercings well not anymore but do this one specific piercing so after my anchor okay so after my anchor I got this tattoo so this is what it looks like. I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you guys can get a better view of it. So yeah, this is what it looks like. It's the amapola. If you don't know what an amapola is, it's a flower in Puerto Rico. Um, that's why I got it, because I'm from Puerto Rico. Du -du 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 -du. <laughs> and um, yeah, I, this is probably like one of the most tattoos where I'm like, oh shit, I forgot I got that. Like, I always remember I have this one here, but for some reason I always seem to forget that this one's here. And this one's like my most noticeable ones besides my arms. So it's like, wow, 
you forget that this is here. But yeah. On a scale from 1 to 10, the pain level for this one was really bad. Probably down here. Now we talking booby meat. I call this little skin right here booby meat. But yeah, now we're getting into like booby meat. So this shit hurt right here. And it also did hurt up here. But I have a really high pain tolerance. So if I'm saying something hurt, that shit hurt. Okay, well my first, I feel like my first tattoo I was bitching. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what happened with that when my pain tolerance kind of went out the window. But these, this one really hurt. So the same day that I got this tattoo is the same day that I got this tattoo. And honestly, I was at the tattoo parlor and he was finishing this up. And I'm like, oh also I did get, most of these tattoos are um, from Twisted Tattoos in Camden they also have one in Ziklaville but um yeah I'll be sure to link them below but uh as he was finishing this one up I had um seen this like you know as, as, as I was looking around and looking through my phone as I'm getting this done I, I found this so I was like oh how much for that they give me a price I'm like I'm cheap but I want it so Boom, I get it. So in the same day, I got both of these. Okay, this one and this one. And this one, it, because it's on a hand, y'all, it hurt like a motherfucker. <laughs> wow. Um, and my hands are really bony. Like, you guys can see my bones. Like, my hands are really bony. So y'all know the needle was just like zzz, zzz, right on my fucking bone. And it was like really painful. The reason why I got this tattoo was just because I liked it and I kind of wanted something on my hand. I had seen this tattoo on um, on the back of someone's ear. I think she had it like right here. Yeah, I think I think the person that I seen this on had this part on the back of their ear and then the leaves were like coming out that way. Um, but I didn't really like it. I kind of like the idea more on my hand. Um, and I still be forgetting sometimes that I have a hand tattoo. Like, people really would have to remind me because I'm like, a hand tattoo? What? But I really do have one, and I'm like, oh shit, I got a hand tattoo. Whatever. So, the next tattoo that I got... <laughs> oh, I'm weak. Oh, I play too much. Alright. The next tattoo I got is on my foot. And it just says, Hope. So, if you guys can see it, this is what it looks like. at a tattoo party because my girlfriend was getting her first tattoo and whenever somebody's getting a tattoo I'm the type of person where just like I have to have a tattoo as well like I don't know I, I if I'm hearing a needle I want to get a tattoo it makes me want to get a tattoo if I'm going with somebody to get a piercing I'm gonna want to get a piercing too like hello if you're going to somebody to buy a new car are you not gonna want a new car also duh but anyway so I was like, alright, I'm going to get something small because I was being cheap, but I still wanted something. So I was like, alright, I'll just get hope on my foot. I've been wanting hope on my foot for the longest. I don't give a fuck. I got it. I went on ahead and um, Mother's Day came up. And no. Yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. Mother's Day came up and I went on ahead and I bought matching tattoos for me and my mom. This is the tattoo that me and my mom got together. We both have it on our wrist and um, they're both in color. They look, oh my God. So yeah, they're both in color and they both look just alike. Um, it's hard to see it with my hand that way because I'm making shit so awkward for you guys. But it's really supposed to be like a mother holding a daughter. If you can see it this way. But if you look at it... Well, shit. How am I going to show you guys? If you look at it this way, it's more of like a heart and two music notes. But if you look at it this way, it's like a mom and a daughter holding each other. Alright, so that is the rest of my tattoos. So as far as piercings go, I think I might have like 9 or 10 piercings. So I guess we'll start with the obvious. Y'all know. I got my ears pierced. Um, got them when I was like months old. <laughs> I don't remember the pain and I don't remember none of that. But whatever. 
Um, I also have my cartilage pierce. I don't have a ring in it, but I do have a pierce. I got it. I think I got that when I was like a freshman in high school. It was something that like everybody was doing. And I'll get, I guess to me, it made me feel like if I got my cartilage pierced, I was like the shit. I don't fucking know. I just wanted to do it because I felt like it was an extra piercing that you could get and your parents will let you. <laughs> in my mouth, I have four piercings. I have my tongue. But I also have my snake eyes. If you don't know what snake eyes is, I'll make sure that I put a picture up here of what I look like with them. Um, I have them pierced, but I don't have a ring in it right now, so... But I also have my smiley, which is this up here. I don't have a ring in it either, because I just lose rings like that. But, um, and I also have my web, which is this right here. But yeah, I also had that pierced. Yeah, I'm like really heavy on the piercings. I like piercings more than I like tattoos. My next piercing is my belly button don't mad don't mind the little fat that I'm going through but I honestly just put this shirt on so I can show you guys my piercings but um yeah my belly button this was my first piercing ever like my first well no my ears were my first <laughs> piercing ever but this was like my honest like oh my god go to a tattoo parlor first piercing um I was 14 when I got it and y'all literally, like, you know how you can remember certain stuff about, like, certain things that happened. When I, when I went to go get my belly button pierced, I remember, like, I was sitting in a chair and I was laying down and they told me to lay down. And literally, you could see my heart going, like, boom, 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 boom. It was, like, jumping out of my shirt. Like, I looked down and my shirt was, like, boom, 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 boom. I was, like, I'm nervous as hell. I don't even know why I was so nervous, but. also have my nose pierced. Yeah, I don't have a ring in it, but I also have my septum pierced as well. I will be sure to put some pictures up here of what I look like with my nose piercings and um, the whole nine yards. But uh, yeah, my last but not least piercing is my booba eyes. I do have my nipples pierced. Um, I got them 2014. So I would say three years ago. I got them done in New York. They were, I think, 80? Yeah, I think they were around like 80, 40. 80, 40. Um, yeah, I think because I'm thinking it was 40 for both. So it was 40, 40, that's 80, right? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know exactly how much they were. But honestly, worst pain ever worst pain ever and of course I'm not gonna show you them but I'll be sure to put a picture or something up here where they're noticeable where you can kind of see them because I'm not gonna show you my but where they're kind of noticeable where you can see and them. honestly that shit hurt Y'all, oh, that really does hurt. It really, it really does hurt. And your first, your second one is gonna hurt more than your first. Now, this might be a little TMI, but whatever. When I was getting my first boob done, no, what boob did I get done first? I got this one done first. <laughs> I always gotta look at them because I'm like, I never know which one. I got this one done first. And I got this one done second. Um, and the reason why I got mine done is, if you don't know, um, some people are born with inverted nipples like I was. I hate talking about them, but damn. Cause, cause I, cause just because I hate talking about them just because I'm giving y'all an image of what mine looks like. <laughs> like, I got hated. Well, inverted nipples, when they get hard, um, you can semi-see the nipple, but it's not as... You know, as hard as it would be for a regular person um, without any nipples. Um, so yeah, when I go in, on ahead and got them pierced, this one they went on ahead, used the clamp, pew, got it pierced. Uh, but for this one, they could not get my nipple hard, and I was like, oh man, like, cause I was kind of getting worried because I'm like, if they can't get my nipple hard, they're gonna like pierce it wrong or 
whatever um but you can see that uh which one he used to clamp on and which one he didn't um it was a guy that did it too also it was kind of awkward i was just sitting there like yeah yeah guys that is it overall i would probably give that one this one i would probably give like an 8 out of 10 this one was definitely a 9 out of 10. I will never give any piercing a 10 out of 10 because it's bearable Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Awesome. This makeup look with zero foundation. This everyday makeup look will be up on my channel very soon. So make sure that you guys go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Because you probably will get this video before you get my tattoos and piercings one. If you do, I will be sure to put it up here in the cards for you guys. So that you guys go ahead and click that. But, um, yeah guys, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media that will be up here. But, yeah guys, bye.